AC Milan goalkeeper Mike Manion has taken to social media to share his statement after being targeted with alleged racist abuse on during their game on Saturday. Manion and his teammates walked off the pitch during the first half of their Serie A clash at Udinese on Saturday evening due to the vile abuse he was receiving. Manion left the pitch shortly after his team had taken the lead, indicating to referee Fabio Maresca he had heard racist abuse from the crowd at the Stadio Friuli. Manion has now taken to social media to call out those who he believes were enabling the behavior on Saturday night. The 28-year-old said the supporters who witnessed the verbal attack and didn't say anything should be regarded as accomplices. Manion also said the staff members at Udinese who had only talked about interrupting the match, rather than taking action were complicit. Manion's statement read, It's not the player who got attacked. This is the man. He is the father of the family. It's not the first time this has happened to me. And I'm not the first one to have this happen to. We've made releases, publicity campaigns, protocols and nothing has changed. Today, it's a whole system that has to take responsibility. Told you before and again, I'm not a victim. And I want to say thank you to my club AC Milan, my teammates, the referee, the Udinese players and everyone who sent me messages, called me, supported me privately and publicly. I can't respond to everyone but I see you and we are together. It's a tough fight, it's going to take time and courage. But it's a fight we will win. The French goalkeeper was the first player to ask for the match to be suspended due to racist abuse. He asked said the referee, did you hear that too? After leaving the pitch for about 10 minutes, Manion and his teammates returned to the pitch angry along with the entire team that had supported him. Many Udinese players hugged and kissed the goalkeeper who consciously chose to send a signal asking the referee to suspend the match. The 28-year-old's return to the pitch was marked by whistles from the curva in a surreal atmosphere at the Stadio Friuli. After being reassured by referee Maresca, Manion returned between the posts. But, it wasn't long before the abuse started again. Following an announcement from the stadium speakers, the chants continued and the French goalkeeper together with other teammates left the field again. We can't play football like this, Manion said after the match. At the first goal kick I heard monkey chants and I didn't say anything. Second goal kick, they did it again so I called the bench and fourth referee. There needs to be very harsh sanctions. Just talking does nothing. On Sunday, AC Milan said they would not post on social media as a show of support for Manion. Following the unacceptable events during the match against Udinese, AC Milan has decided to not post any social media content today, the 21st of January 2024, in support of Mike Manion and the fight against racism. Hashtag we respect, the club said in a post on X. Diego Moreira leaves Olympique Lyon via break clause into loan deal. Portuguese winger returns to Chelsea as he will work under Mauricio Pochettino starting on Monday. Be part of our project, subscribe to our channel now.